What did you think about President Obama's speech last night? Oh my God, I am so inspired. Both the president and Michelle, like, I'm like, I'm still in tears even thinking about it. It was the hope, it was the inspiration, and frankly, it was the dose of reality in bringing us back to our American values, our families, the things we're fighting for. I'm just feeling so inspired, so excited. I can't wait to hear from Tim Waltz tonight, and of course, tomorrow, Kamala. So yeah, it was very exciting. Now, President Obama said that one of the most important things that he wants to see fixed is the bitterness and division in this country. Yeah. How do you think a change in leadership will begin to heal that? Well, I mean, you know, I think one of the things that was so wonderful about seeing the Obamas was that it reminded us of our better angels and hearing Michelle talk about the dignity of the office and what it means to be presidential, but also about the American people and what we stand for and helping each other and serving each other and caring for our neighbors. Like, that's who we are as Americans. And so I think part of why people are so excited about both Kamala and Tim Waltz is that they embody that value value of what it means to be American and taking care of each other. You serve on Capitol Hill. Uh, what is your message to young women who might want to serve as well? My message is go out there and run because your country, your communities need you. And so many little girls have a little voice inside of them, inside their heart that is telling them that they're destined for greatness and something big. So go out there, listen to that voice, build your life and follow your dream and run for office. Uh, can you share with me a story of uh, bipartisan cooperation that you've had while you've been on the Hill? Oh, absolutely. You know, one of the things that the media doesn't show is how much bipartisanship is actually happening behind the scenes. So the vast majority of the legislation that I work on is actually bipartisan. So I'm working with colleagues in Arizona. I'm working with colleagues in Colorado. Um, I travel a lot with my fellow colleagues on the House Natural Resources Committee. I love my colleagues on both sides of the aisle. And I think, you know, the vast majority of people serving in Congress are there because they care about their communities and because because they want to do something to advance our country. And so, you know, I think that people shouldn't be disheartened by the news because the drama of partisanship is really only a very small number of people that are misbehaving on Capitol Hill. And I'm confident that when we restore our country to leadership like Hakeem Jeffries is the speaker and we keep Chuck Schumer in the Senate and we elect Kamala, that we will have that restoration of bipartisanship and moving our country forward again.